you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Say, I love you. I love you. Yes, I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Oh, because you care. Because you care for me. In such a special way, that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Well, because you care for me. Because you care for me. In such a special way. Such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. And I magnify your name. That's why my heart is with praise. Oh, I love you. I love you. Talk to him today. I love Tell him how much you love him. I love you, Lord. Oh, because you care for me. Care for me in such a special way. Such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Lift your voice and say, I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, today. Oh, because you care for me. For me. In such a special way, such a special way, that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I love you, yes, I love you, I love you, Lord, I love you, Lord, today, because you care for me, in such a special way, in such a special way, that's why I praise you, I lift you up, and I magnify your name. Why my heart is filled with praise. One more time, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me. You care for me. In such a special way. you, Lord, today, oh, because you care for me, in such a special way, that's why I praise you, I lift you up, and I magnify your name, that's why my heart is filled with grace. 
falling in love with Jesus. Mm-hmm. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. It was the best thing I've ever, ever done. Oh, say falling, falling in love. Oh, yes, with Jesus. Oh, falling, falling in love with Jesus. best thing I've ever, ever done. Oh, in his arms, in his arms, in his arms, I feel, I feel protected. Oh, in his arms, in his arms, never disconnected. It's connected. There's no place, there is no place I'd rather, rather be. Oh, falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love, oh yes, with Jesus. Oh, falling, falling in love with Jesus, with Jesus. Connected in his arms, I feel, I feel protected. There is no place, there is no place I'd rather, rather be. One more time, say, falling in love with Jesus, falling in. Praise. 
I've got to praise and I've got to get it out. I've got to praise. Help me sing. Say, I, I got to praise. I got to praise and I've got to get it out. I've got to praise. Help me sing. Say, I, I got to praise. I've got to praise and I've got to get it out. I've got to praise.
uh, March the 6th. I mean, he'll be one, I'm sorry. Shamar Blake Jr. will be turning one on March the 6th. Angel Tillman on March the 22nd. Jada Cooper on March the 26th. Eris Daugherty on March the 27th. Uh, Alan Bryant on March the 27th. Uh, Latoya, you got a birthday coming up? Latoya Masterson? Your birthday? Okay. All right, you probably already had one. It's just on my mind. Anyone else got a March birthday? Shout out for me. Shamar Blake Jr. turns eight. Woohoo! What date? March the 17th. You're turning eight? Oh my God. Eight years old. You are really growing. Happy birthday to you. Amen. We celebrate all the March birthdays. Amen. We definitely give you a shout out uh, on our prayer list. Again, remember to pray for my friend, uh, Evangelist Lucretia Booker and her family. They're supposed to have taken her brother off of uh, life support this morning at 10, but I still believe God is a healer. I'm looking for a praise report that, you know, that he's still here with us, but if not, continue to pray for uh, the Booker family. Uh, Shannon Elliott for prayer, the Bates and Clark family prayer, the VC and Napier family prayer, the Mickens and Morishita family prayer. Uh, remember to pray for our brother Marcus Selman and family. Tragic accident, but but God, but God, it made it on the news. The car flipped three times, but God, hallelujah, brought him through. Amen. That's a testament. That's worth shouting over. Amen. The car gonna flip three times on you. Someone run red light and hit you, and you able to still walk away and still be here. Amen. But God. Amen. But remember to pray uh, for him. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God is more than a conqueror. So pray for Marcus Selman. Call his name out and his family. Uh, remember to pray for our sister Shalisa Selman uh, and our very old sister Ruby Lee Selman uh, and brother Jimmy Selman. Remember to call his name out. Faithful musician over there for years playing that bass. Faithful. Amen. We know God is still able. Amen. So call his name out. Don't forget about him. Brother Jimmy Selman. Lord, heal him. Bring him through. Restore him. Amen. We want to see him back over there playing that bass. And we know God is a mind regulator. God can do it, can't he? Is anything too hard for God? No. Remember to pray for him, his caregivers, his wife, his daughter. Amen. It's hard taking care of someone that is sick. So remember to pray that God just continues to strengthen their hands and be with them, as well as Mr. Holt. Amen. Mr. Holt is improving daily because he's a family man. Amen. Love makes you grow. Amen. So call Mr. Holt's name out for complete healing. His wife. Uh, Carol Jean Holt, call her name out as his caregiver. Continue to pray for my mom, Yvonne Barrow for healing, Arlene Shaw healing, Sam Hall prayer, Sahi Jordan prayer, Ebony and India Coleman for prayer. Uh, and again, um, March 16th, Latoya Carson celebrating a birthday. Woohoo! We celebrate you. Uh, and on anniversaries, this young couple, amen, the Normans will be celebrating on March the 14th, 24 wonderful years. Happy anniversary to you. Woohoo! We celebrate you all. Is there any other shout outs we need to give before we go before the throne of grace? Amen. Before we turn the pulpit over to our illustrious pastor, our wonderful pastor, we're just thanking God for him. He's just such a great man of God in my life. I can't appreciate him enough love him to life amen this man is it's amazing amen he's an amazing partner to share this journey of life with uh so before he comes we're going to have our very own elder ronald fleetwood come and go before the throne of grace and then this dynamic man of god will be coming after him We say praise the Lord. I'm going to ask everyone to please stand this time. We know God can do all things but fail, amen? Whatever you ask God for and ask him to do, ask him believing that he's going to do it, amen? Amen? So we're going to believe in God this morning, amen? I believe that God's going to do what he said he's going to do. Heavenly Father, we come before you this day, Lord God, giving you thanks and giving you praise, Lord God. We acknowledge, Lord God, that you are our Lord and Savior, creator of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Lord God, we give you thanks, Lord God, for waking us this morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, as I said before, clothing us in our right minds, Lord God. 
waking us up, Lord God, having us to go forward, Lord God, to see what the end's going to be, Lord God. Lord God, we read in the book, Lord God, and we know what the end is going to be, Lord God. But we on, we're going to go ahead and travel this life, Lord God, doing your will and being in your will, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for watching over our families, Lord God, suffering, no hurt, harm, or danger to come upon us, Lord. Blessing us, Lord God, and keeping us, Lord God, in your care. Lord God, we know the sick and the shut-in have no one to depend on but except you, Lord God. When the medicine and the when the medicines and the doctors don't uh, uh, when they fail, Lord God, we know that you are there. All things are possible through you, Lord God, and we give you thanks and praise this morning, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, to continue, Lord God, to give us strength, Lord God. Continue to give us a mind to go on in your name, Lord God. Asking you to bless, Lord God, during this pandemic, Lord God. You continue to amaze us, Lord God, by blessing and keeping us safe, Lord God. Lord God, we give you thanks this day, Lord, because you're worthy and worthy of all praise, Lord. Lord God, we thank you this day, Lord God, because you're worthy. Lord God, we ask you to bless our families, Lord God, our grandchildren, Lord God. Save, Lord God, in your name, Lord Jesus, our families. Save, Lord God, our grandchildren. Look up, look up out on our, our children, Lord God, and watch over them and keep them, Lord. We ask you to bless Faith Temple this day, Lord God. Continue to strengthen us, Lord God, giving us a mind to go forward in your name, blessing us daily, God. Help us, Lord God, to go on in your name. Lord God, we give you thanks this day and ask that you continue to bless each and every one in the shout of my voice, Lord God. Save, Lord God. Bless, Lord God, and keep us in your care, Lord God. And we give you thanks because you're worthy, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray and give you thanks. In Jesus' name we say amen. Amen. This time we're going to bring our pastor forward in the person of our own Bishop Eugene Ringer. Let's give him a hand as he come forward. Come on, put your hands together. <laughs> Bishop Eugene Ringer. God bless you, Bishop. Come on, put your hands together. Glad I am, Lord. Glad I am, Lord. You don't know I'm glad I am. Glad I am, Lord. Glad I am, Lord. You don't know I'm glad I am. Glad I am, Lord. Glad I am, Lord. You don't know I'm glad I am. Glad I am, Lord. Glad I am, Lord. You don't know I'm glad I am. I am. 
Thank you. Come on and say hallelujah. Come on and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. The sudden honor of the Lord who is the head of my life. Thank you. And to the Amen, the praise team, and to the one that came before us, prayer. Lovely wife, Sister, El Sister Ringer, and to all the other that's here today. Thank God for number one for the baptism in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank God for being filled with the precious guilt of the Holy Ghost. And that work for mighty. Thank God for the baptism in water in the name of the Lord Jesus and being filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Have a mind to continue to live for the Lord. Realize the Bible said the race is not given to the swift and also neither is the battle given to the strong but to the one that endures to the end the same shall be saved. So the prize is at the end. Matthew 24, 13 said, He that endures to the end shall be saved. So the prize that God has for us to eat on life is at the end. You won't get any pay if you start and if you stop. Amen. And don't go all the way. So I thank God for being filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. That was for mine to continue to live for the Lord. I heard the gospel preach. Amen. And I didn't harden my heart to the truth. I repented of my sins. And God filled me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Gave me a mind to live right. So we're happy to be here today and thank God for all of you that's present and those that will continue to pray for us and continue to pray for the church and all the things that God is doing for us. And we cannot forget We've been under the weather for a few weeks. Not many people's called and prayed for us. And 
said they was concerned about us, and we said I'm thankful for all of the prayers. Amen. They're going up for us. I thank God for the prayers. I do. The Bible said the prayers are the righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. The prayers are the righteousness of Bill much. So if you're living right, then prayer it means uh, something for us. Amen. The prayers of the righteousness people. It didn't say whether you was a, amen, bishop, missionary, evangelist. It just said the prayers of the righteousness. So I thank God, amen, for the prayers of the righteousness. I've been praying for us, praying for the church, those that are supporting the church, those that are sending, sending money from out of town and other places. The church is able to continue to go on. So we're happy. Thank God for that. Amen. Thank for all the blessings that come from the Lord. We thank the Lord. They do want to say that we uh, still want to have our, our convention, but the convention will not be as long as we, it has been in the past. We'll be able to go a couple of days because of the virus. <coughs> because of the virus, we'll only be able to go for a couple of days, but we are going to have our convention Saturday and Sunday on a weekend, and then we won't have to go through a lot of process as far as cleaning the church and all on the once, I believe. And so we're just looking forward to it, looking forward for quite a few other churches being present, a lot of uh, other uh, preachers being present. So we're looking forward to that. But we thank the Lord. I'm thankful. Uh, uh, all that the Lord is doing for me it means a lot to be in to be in church. It means a lot to be in church. It means a lot to be saved. Amen. Where would you be without the Lord? Where would you be if you had not accepted God? Where would you be? No telling where. Probably so many of us probably wouldn't even be alive if I would be passed on. Uh, got into some kind of trouble, got into dope, and got into some kind of crimes. So it's just a mercy of the Lord that God made it possible for us to be in church, made it possible for us to hear the gospel preached. We heard the gospel preached. We didn't harden our heart. We repented. God came into our lives, filled us with his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, we're able to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And do not let take that lightly. Do not take that lightly about being born of the spirit. The Bible teaches us we're going to worship the Lord in spirit. I believe St. John 4, 24 says, worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So it's very imperative for us to be in the Lord in order to worship the Lord. And you can give thanks to the Lord. You can praise God. The Bible said, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Everything. Jungles, alligators in the jungles and the bees, and tigers, everything. Have an obligation to praise God for all that he's done, for everything that he does for us and for his protecting, protectors. But to worship God, amen, it must be done in the spirit. For God is spirit, and we have to be done in the spirit. But to, to give him thanks, so there's two different aspects of life there. You need to understand that. Amen. If you're not in the spirit, if you don't have the spirit, if you've not been born of the spirit, then you can't worship God in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But to praise God is a different, different everything. Amen. Obligated to praise God. The trees, amen, have a way of praising God. Animals, birds, fowls of the air got a way of praising God. Thank you, Jesus. And the flowers and the grass, everything that exists, everything that's living. Thank you, Jesus. Got an obligation to uh, praise God. But to worship God is a different aspect to worship God and thank God for being able to worship him in spirit 
and in truth. But we're happy to be here today. Continue to pray for our sick, shut in, those that are bound, those that are in their homes sick, and things that happened to them. And one of our, amen, young men here was in a major accident. Pray for him. Little brother Selma, Sister Selma, secretary's son, pray for him. Had a major accident. Pray for him. The other sick and the shut in, those that are, have a desire to come to church can't. Pray that God will deliver them and make it possible for them to come, to be able to come to church. So we thank, thank the Lord. Amen. Stay with the Lord. Stay with God. Stay with God. Don't give up on the Lord. Don't give up on God. Amen. So we thank the Lord. In the, we're going to break unto you the bread of life. In the book of Galatians, the first chapter, thank you, Jesus. In the book of Galatians, the first chapter, down at the eighth and the ninth verse. Galatians 1, 8, and 9. And it reads, Both, But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you. Let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Let us say thank the Lord. I looked at that and I've seen it. Got a subject from that. Nothing like the real thing. Look at somebody and say, nothing like the real thing. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Thank you, Jesus. It's imperative to have the real thing. And so many times you can be disappointed by not having uh, the real thing. You can be a bit disappointed by not getting what you ordered, not get, for getting what you asked for. And sometimes it kind of irks you if you don't get what you asked for. Now, it does me, but usually I don't go back and and try and correct it. Or sometimes they might make it worse. <laughs> I ordered a chicken dinner the other day. They, when they gave me the food, it was not what I ordered. In fact, it looked pretty bad and it was burned. But I don't return and say, give me something else, because sometimes, amen, restaurants can be nasty about it. Hey, man, I don't know if you realize that or not, but uh, sometimes they, they can give you something even worse. I know you, I know what sometimes you might say, well, if hey, they're going to do this right, they're going to do this right. Well, sometimes they still don't do it right. <laughs> you never heard of, heard of spitting in people's food, have you? So usually it's something if I don't like, I, I don't, uh, I don't send it back. I just might not go back there. Uh, later, I might remind them in a different way. But uh, some people complain about everything they get and send it back, and you don't know if they don't spit in it or not. Amen, hallelujah. If you step stay around for a while, I have experienced that. Amen. I was with a group of people. They sent the food back, and they spit in it and send it back to them. Now, I don't want to affect your dinner when you go out to eat. And, and then they just so happened the person discovered it and reported it to the manager, and so of course they fired the person. But a lot of things can happen when you don't get the real, the real thing, the real thing. And I want to talk about the real, the real deal, uh, getting something real and getting what you think it is real. Thank you, Jesus. You, you, you can even sometimes you could purchase equipment, purchase a suit, and you think it's the real th deal. And you uh, purchase some clothes, and you find out that it's not real. It's not what 
or you thought it was, not what you thought it was. Uh, I was talking to one young lady and uh, made a comment about a suit. That's one thing about like about this suit, it, it doesn't wrinkle. You could take it, you could twist it, you can do whatever you want to, and it doesn't wrinkle. And sometimes you think you're getting the real thing and you're not getting the real thing. Uh, and the, but a, one fella showed me how to check, check out clothes, see if it, they were real or not, see if it would wrinkle. Now, I'm not going to go through all that and tell you how to check it, but there's a way you can check it and see if it's real. But I don't talk about the real thing, the real. Amen. So many times people accept things that's not real. They accept. Thank you, Jesus. Something that's supposed to be real, supposed to be. Now here Paul was talking to the Galatian church, and the Galatian church was uh, was going in the wrong direction and was listening to uh, other voices. And it can be a dangerous thing to listen to other voices. And the Galatian church was listening to other voices, which was the voices of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. And all they had to do was go back and study the word of God, and they would see where Rehoboam made a, a horrible mistake for listening to the wrong voice. Because somebody said, don't listen to the wrong voice. They know that you, amen, got the right voice, or you listen to the right thing. And sometimes the only way for you to know is to be born of the Spirit to have a connection with God. And Rehoboam didn't have that kind of connection, but Rehoboam should have conduct, con contacted uh, somebody that had a connection with God. And so he listened to the wrong voices rather than listen to, amen, the concrete instruction. He found himself listening to the wrong voices and he lost 10 of his tribes because he listened to the wrong voices. Well, glory to God. So I want to, hallelujah, let you know, amen, you need to, amen, know what the real thing is. Galatian people have found themselves in this kind of, amen, position. Now, it says there, I marvel that in the first, first six verse, one and six, Galatians one six, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that call you into the grace of Christ, unto another gospel. Listen to what he said. I, Paul said, I'm astonished that you found yourself listening to some one else or to, to wrong voices or another gospel. He said, hallelujah. I'm astonished that, amen, you're so easy shaken and moved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's the reason why you need to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So you don't be so easy shaken by hearing anything. And Paul said, I'm astonished. Amen. That you, amen, was so uh, moved and you allowed something other gospel to affect you, which there is no, there is not another one, but hallelujah, which I believe he said, but there be some that trouble you and would prefer, pervert the gospel of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Some, amen, would, uh, hallelujah, give you instruction and will pervert the gospel of Christ if it were possible. So he said then in, in the eighth verse, but though we are an angel from heaven preaching another gospel unto you and that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Don't accept any and everything. I know we're living in a perilous time. We're living in last days and we're living in a time when, amen, a whole lot of things are going on, but you need to know the real gospel of Jesus Christ. And they got down to the next verse, and he said basically the same thing. And I only read, I mean, a couple of places in the Bible where, amen, the writer repeated the identical same scripture. That's in the book of Proverbs, I believe, and also here. And he said in the ninth verse, as we said before. Now, Paul put some emphasis on this. 
So say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Paul said, I don't want you to accept nothing else. I don't care who it is, or what they look like, and amen, amen, what kind of background they have, and amen, and what kind of rag tied around their head, and what kind of glory they got, robe they got on, uh, hallelujah, how many, amen, big words or intelligent they are. Paul said, I don't want you listening to no other gospel. said, because there is no other gospel but the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, I'm a marvelous and astonished that you so easily, you shaken so quick, you change so quick. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying to you, hallelujah, hold to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't allow no, nobody else to come in and preach any other. I know we're living in the last days, and when the Bible speaks of things would happen in, in the last days, and men how the men and women will be going after strange doctrine and will be doing strange things. We're living in that day, but hallelujah, but Paul put, amen, put some emphasis as he instructed the Galatian church and said, I want you to hold to the gospel that I preached unto you and do not allow anything else, anybody else, do not accept substitute, hallelujah, because, amen, there's no other gospel. There's nothing else like the real the real deal, the real gospel of Jesus Christ. Many times we get, amen, substitute. Thank you, Jesus. But you got to know the real God that you're serving. You got to believe in the real God that we're serving. Hallelujah. The God that we trust and the God that is able. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And every now and then, just give him a thanks and give him a praise anyhow. Hallelujah. Yeah, just give him a hand, clap a hand. Praise him anyhow. Hallelujah. God that we serve is able. Reminded of my, hallelujah, my wife, that we, I lost my eyeglasses. Well, now you might not never lost yours, but I lost mine, all right? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I lost, I couldn't find them. And, but you ever been looking for your glasses? They was on your eyes. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you ever do that, then you know, you know, some time and it's time and taking its course. Thank you, Jesus. But I lost, misplaced my eyeglasses. Looked for them for a couple of days and in the car and at the church and different. Couldn't find my eyeglasses. They cost three or four hundred dollars. They got no three or four hundred dollars to throw away. Looking for the eyeglasses. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Couldn't find them, couldn't find them. Look. And all in the house, in the car, come back down to the church and look for the eyeglasses and couldn't find the eyeglasses. What the world? Thank you, Jesus. I told my wife to look. She came down to the church and then she went back, came back home and she said, now the Lord knows where those glasses is. Now this is how, this is how the Lord, this is how God works. She said, the Lord knows where those glasses is. And he able to put them in my path. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it happened. Then she, she came into my room and she said, the Lord knows what those glasses is. And she's done this many times, I can tell you, many incidents. And looked out right down by my chair where I was sitting in there with the glasses. After two or three days, there the glasses was. And she picked them up and gave them, put, put them in my hand. In my hand. Amen. I don't know how, don't ask me, explain it. Thank you, Jesus, but I know, amen, we serve a mighty God. And it's amazed me, amen, it, it amazed me also. Thank you, Jesus. But it's very imperative to serve a real God. And a lot of people are gonna be disappointed, amen, for accepting substitute, for accepting, amen, a God that is not real. His dictionary defines it as a person, a thing, acting or used in place of another. But it goes a little further than that. And so the devil would like for you to accept something else. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He would like for you to accept, amen, another salvation. He would like for you to, glory to God, accept, 
something that's not real. Oh, God, some people are going to be disappointed, Dr. Hallelujah, for accepting something else. And, and some people just doing things for money. Lord God, and some people is just, amen, there for the, amen, prestige. Hallelujah, of course it look good, but what are you saying, preacher? Thank you. Do you need to know that you got the real thing? Give the Lord a hand clap and tell him thank you. Oh, God. Hallelujah. You need to know, amen, you can serve in a real God. Sometimes people tell you to accept God. Hallelujah. All you got to do is just raise your hand. Oh, yes. But I want to tell you, amen, accepting Jesus Christ is a little bit more than just raising your hand. Oh, yes, uh, they'll tell you all you got to do uh, is stand up and uh, hallelujah and say, I accept God. Uh, hallelujah. But I want to tell you, it goes a little further than that. Oh, yes, uh, hallelujah. Amen. In order to heal and have the real God, uh, you got to go a little further than just raising your hand. Oh, yes. The Bible tells you, repent every one of you, Lord God, and be baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord God. The Bible tells you, repent of your sins, Lord God, and be filled uh, with the Holy Ghost uh, or the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. You got to repent. Oh, Lord, and go down, and go down, and go down, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah, Paul said, hallelujah, don't accept nothing else, Lord of God, Paul said, though we are angels come preaching another gospel unto you, he said, let him be a curse, Lord God, the devil, hallelujah, I heard the scripture say, follow him, hallelujah, told me, ah, uh, yes, I can ask anything, and God will give it to you, but you got to repent of your sins, go down, in Jesus' name, and be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It goes a little further than that. You need the real thing. You're going to need the real thing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible tells you, talks about a, a lady. Thank you, Jesus. That old debt in the Bible there in the book of 2 King. Hallelujah. And she had two sons and uh, hallelujah. And the debt who the old was going to take her two sons into. Thank you, Jesus. Captivity because of the debt that she owed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And uh, she wasn't able to pay the debt. Thank you, Jesus. But she loved the man of God, and she had, amen, blessed the man of God, and she had did special things for the man of God. Hallelujah. And so I'm not going all the way through the story, but when she came to him and he asked, she explained the situation to him. He said, what do, what do you have in your house? She said, hallelujah. He said, you gather all of the pots in your house. Hallelujah. She said, I got one container of oil. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, he said, well, get that and you get all the rest of the pots and pans and whatever you can get. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And bring them into your house. And you take that one pot of oil and you pour it into another pot. I'm talking about the real God, the real God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And she did that, but when she filled that pot up, she still had oil and she began to pour into another container. Oh, God, hallelujah. She filled that container up and she, amen, began to pour into another container. And she filled that one up and she began to pour into another container. And she filled that one up and she began to pour into another container. I'm talking about when you serve a real God. Oh, God, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
and she got all the pots and pans that could be filled. And then she told Elisha about it. He said, now take that and go and sell that all, and then you will have the money to pay your debt. What are you talking about? A God that is able to bless you. A God that is able. Hallelujah. Well, that's not the end of the story. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's not the end. Elisha said, I want to bless you. I want to do something special for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, amen. His servant said, well, she don't have any kids. She don't have any children. He said, well, I'm going to bless you. The God, the real God that we serve. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> he said, by this season, amen, next year, you're going to have a child. Oh, I know you passed flowers of your age, but what does God care about? Amen. Your age. What does God care about? Amen. What have not happened in the past? What does the Lord care about? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. How you been a loser in the past? What does God care about? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The things that have happened in your life in the past. God said, I'm able to bless you today. I'm able to give it to you today. I'm able to hallelujah give you all today I'm able to go with it God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus about that next season hallelujah she was blessed with a child hallelujah and that child grew up and become grown hallelujah hallelujah but one day the child fell sick Thank you, Jesus. Not only did the child get sick, but the child died. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But she remembered how she got the child. Look at somebody that says, don't forget what God did for you in the past. She remembered the man that blessed her. She remembered, hallelujah, amen, what God did for us. She remembered the real God, the real God. She remembered the real God. Thank you, Jesus. And she said, I'll go find the man that blessed me with the child. As I paraphrase this story, she said, I'll go find the man. Get me the, amen, mule, get me the ass, get me the horse, whatever it takes for me to get there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. She went, hallelujah. Elisha seen her coming. He said, what's wrong, what's wrong? Hallelujah. And she said, Sent word back and said, it is well. Said, it is well. See, sometimes you got to speak by faith. Hallelujah. Oh, God. She said, it's well. Even though the child was still dead. Hallelujah. But she spoke the word and said, it's well. Because I believe, I got the faith that you're going to bless me. If you bless me once, you can do it again. Look at somebody say, if God did it once, he said, he can do it again. Oh, God, hallelujah, hallelujah. You listen to Cena coming. Hallelujah. So he sent his staff. He said, take this staff and go, amen, lay it on the child. But this little lady said, I'm not taking second. Hallelujah. I'm not taking second. I got to have the real thing. Oh, God, hallelujah. I remember one president was running for president and they asked him amen so why don't you take second place and be vice president and let somebody else be the president he said I don't believe in second hallelujah he said I don't believe in seconds this lady said I don't believe in second amen I'm not amen convinced that your staff is going to do what I need done so you're going to have to come hallelujah and the bible lets you know hallelujah Elisha had to go and when Elisha went amen which was first class hallelujah which was the real deal which was the real man which the one that had the connection with God hallelujah and prayed for the child amen and the child came back alive. Hallelujah. Good God. Hallelujah. Good God. I had a clap. I said, thank God. I'm serving a real God. I'm serving a God that is able. Oh, God. 
Psalm 138 and 2 said, Thy word is above thy name. Acts 4 and 12 said, Neither there salvation in any other, for there is none other name given by, by men must be saved, but the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to encourage you today. Hallelujah. No except second. I want to encourage you today. Lord God, hallelujah. Make sure that you know that you serve in the real God. Lord God. Hallelujah. A lot of people are going to be disappointed in the latter days. Lord God. But they're going to, amen, consider their salvation is raising their hand. Lord God. Some people are going to consider their salvation a sign of a statement. Lord God. A sign of a book. Lord God. But I want to tell you it's a little more than that oh yes God has hallelujah it's a little more than just standing up and signing a statement it's a little more than just raising your hand Lord God it goes a little further oh 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 and just hallelujah I'm there. hallelujah put your name on a book but it's imperative that you go down in Jesus name and let the Lord and let the Lord fill you with his spirit don't forget hallelujah don't forget the real God, the real man. Hallelujah. Oh, unless the devil would like for you to give up on him. The devil would like for you to accept anything. Hallelujah. I heard the songwriter say, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Hallelujah. In a moment of a twinkling of an eye and caught up to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord hallelujah hallelujah but I want to encourage you don't accept just anything hallelujah don't amen accept just anything remember to do it like the Bible said a lot of people is going to be disappointed in the latter days for the Bible tells you that many is going to say Oh, Lord, Lord God, I heal the sick in your name. Hallelujah. I cast out devils in your name. And many are going to, hallelujah, God going to tell them, depart from me. I never knew you. You never came clean with me. You never repented totally of your sins. You never was baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. You were never filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Then you're going to remember, hallelujah, that you needed the real power of God. Then you're going to remember, ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're going to remember, You'll be, but it'll be too late then. It'll be too late then. Friends, brothers, and sisters, don't accept second. Don't accept, amen. Nothing but what is real. Sure, the devil go talk to you. Hallelujah. But God is still able to deliver you. Oh, hallelujah. He's still able to save you. He's still able to make a way for you. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on him. Hallelujah. You need the real God. This lady would not accept second. She refused to accept second. She refused to accept a staff that Elisha sent. Said, no, I, I've got to have the real man. Uh, you, you have to come, and you have to come, hallelujah, and pray for my son. You have to come, amen, hallelujah. Glory to God, I'm not accepting nothing else. Thank you, Jesus. Won't it be a sad day when the Lord returned back for his church? We find out I needed the Spirit of God. I needed the power of God. Behold, I show you a mystery, Paul said. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment of a twinkling of an eye and caught up to meet the Lord in the air. 
but you're going to need the real thing. Hallelujah. Second is not going to be good enough. Hallelujah. In order to be caught away when the Lord returns back for his church. Do not procrastinate. Do not put the time off. Accept the Lord now while you got a chance. Hallelujah. Be born of the Spirit now while you got a chance. While the blood, they said, is still running warm in your veins. If you're here today, let us stand. Invitation to you to come to Christ. Are you willing to repent of your sins, be baptized? in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. If you're here today, the invitation is for you to come. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible said the prayers of the righteousness of Bill much. Hmm? I'll wait on it. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else is our prayer? Come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, just now. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, just now. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, just now. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus just now. He will heal you, he will heal you, he will heal you.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap and tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to glory. Hallelujah. Let us say thank the Lord. It's all for time. Thank you. Thank you. Father Christ, we love you. Thank thee, O oh God, for this hour. O oh God, we honor thee as being our supreme being, being our all in all. God, we know that all power is in your hand. O oh God, nothing we can do without thee, but with thee we can do all things. O oh God, we recognize the fact that you control the universe. You know all about mankind because you created him from the dust of the earth. Oh, God, we love you today, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you for your presence, Lord. Oh, God, glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you for how you blessed us, Lord. Thank you for your deliverance power. Thank you for the victory today, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we love you. We pray, oh, God. Hallelujah for those that everywhere today. We pray, oh God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We pray through the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch, Lord. Oh, God, touch in the name of Jesus. Move every hinder today. Move every stumbling block. Move, Lord. Move. Move in there and strike. Jesus, move, Lord, move hatred, Lord. Oh, God, move that stone today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, touch right now, Lord. Touch, Lord, that one is rolling in pain. Touch Jesus, move right now, Lord, that one that tumbled in the hospital, Lord. Jesus, and the body was racking in pain, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Father Christ, we love you. Thank thee, O oh God, for this hour. O oh God, we honor thee as being our supreme being, being our all in all. God, we know that all power is in your hand. O oh God, nothing we can do without thee. But with thee, we can do all things. Oh, God, we recognize the fact that you control the universe. You know all about mankind because you created him from the dust of the earth. Oh, God, we love you today, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you for your presence, Lord. Oh, God, glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you for how you blessed us, Lord. Thank you for your deliverance power. Thank you for the victory today, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we love you. We pray, oh, God, hallelujah for those that everywhere today. We pray, oh, God, hallelujah in the name of Jesus. We pray through the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch, Lord. Oh, God, touch. In the name of Jesus, move every hinder today. Move every stumbling block. Move, Lord. Move. Move in there and strike. Jesus, move, Lord. Move hatred, Lord. Oh, God. Move that stone today, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. Touch right now, Lord. Touch, Lord. That one is rolling in pain. Touch Jesus. 
Ooh, right now, Lord. That one that tumbled in the hospital, Lord. Jesus, and the body was racking in pain, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Father Christ, we love you. Thank thee, O oh God, for this hour. O oh God, we honor thee as being our supreme being, being our all in all. God, we know that all power is in your hand. Oh, God, nothing we can do without thee, but with thee we can do all things. Oh, God, we recognize the fact that you control the universe. You know all about mankind because you created him from the dust of the earth. Oh, God, we love you today, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you for your presence, Lord. Oh, God, glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you for how you've blessed us, Lord. Thank you for your deliverance power. Thank you for the victory today, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we love you. We pray, oh, God. Hallelujah. For those that everywhere today. We pray, oh, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray through the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch, Lord. Oh, God, touch in the name of Jesus. Move every hinder today. Move every stumbling block. Move, Lord. Move. Move in the strife. Jesus, move, Lord. Move hatred, Lord. Oh, God. Move that stone today, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, uh, touch right now, Lord. Touch, Lord, that one that's rolling in pain. Touch Jesus. Ooh, right now, Lord, that one that tumbled in the hospital, Lord. Jesus, and the body was racking in pain, Lord. Jesus.